What up, guys? It's your girl, Manic Meeks, and I am back for 30 Days of Disney+. Plus. I love this site. Let me just tell y'all something. It's a real problem. So, today, I'm going to keep putting the dates in here because I figure it's easy. It is November the 13th. Yes, it is November the 13th. And uh, I've been watching some Disney+. Plus. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And I found one of my favorite movies on Disney+. Plus. And of course, I had to watch it and do a mini review for you guys. So if you're enjoying anything on my channel, gameplays, reviews, reactions, whatever I got going on, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here. You're here. Let's be here together. So today on Disney+, Plus, I took a trip back in time to something I used to watch when I was little because it was my mother's favorite movie. Um, my mother introduced me to this movie, and it is The Parent Trap. And if you open or fix your mouth just to even think I'm referring to the Lindsay Lohan one you could just close out this video right now but before you leave like like and subscribe how about that but close out the video and go find somewhere else we're talking about the original parent trap the greatness the one and only Haley Mills okay you got Maureen O'Hara all right that's all you need to know that's all you need to know but it was my this is my favorite version of Parent Trap. Um, I just, it, it just did so much more than the 90s version. I think it was the 90s version. Was it 90s? Or was it like 2000s? 90s? I'm gonna say 90s, late 90s, whatever it was. The Lindsay Lohan one. It did so much more. So much more than that movie did. Um, you got to see a little more of the relationship between Hayley Mills and herself because it was just Hayley Mills playing the twins. Um, Susan and Sharon. <sighs> but pretty much for those of you who do not know have never seen either versions of the parent trap and you've never seen parent trap 2 and parent trap 3 yes they do exist yes they are hot garbage but the second one the you know second parent trap has Haley mills in it so anything with Haley mills Ooh -ooh. but for those of you who uh don't know what the parent trap is it is a movie about twins separated at birth father has one mother has the other and they randomly meet in camp they discover that they are in fact twins that their parents were married and divorced and just split the kids evenly so what better way was there for two newly met sisters to a see the other parent and b get them back together so they can stay together as a family by trapping the hell out of your parents you switch places and you make them switch you back because technically legally they kind of would have to if they documentation says that one has to go there one has to go there so legally they have to switch you back and that's pretty much what story's about them and their shenanigans to get their parents back together that is the story in a nutshell i love this version because it's just it's more focused on the girls and their shenanigans you know what i mean the second one it follows like not the, not the second one but the parent trap the remake follows around the parents more than the girls and i wasn't a really big fan of that um, this one centered on Haley Mills and her performance as Susan and Sharon, um, asking her mother, like, you know, trying to get the details of what went down in their relationship, what happened, why did they split, um, how did they decide to split, how did they decide who took who, you know what I mean? So that's what the story was about. And I love it so much. I love the songs. I love the, uh, the time period it was in. I love the outfits everyone was wearing. I love the aesthetic. I just love this one so much uh and any chance they could get Haley mills to sing in the movie they were getting her to sing in the movie she wasn't the worst singer in the world but she wasn't the best singer in the world however i enjoyed her singing as a child because she is a child and you know they're not gonna have a freaking bet midler or barbara streisand voice you know what i'm saying but it was still fun it was still catchy and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put a grade up for the three things the three categories number one the cry factor number two the laugh factor and number three the heart factor i can tell you right now that there is only one moment in this film where i teared up on even watching it for the 15 11th time it still makes me tear up so the cry factor in this one will be a one just because I teared up one. I'm being really very, very generous and liberal with this cry factor. So I'm just going to give it the one. 
Um, so the laugh factor, however, is going to be a five. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a five. <laughs> because there are so many moments that just have you dying laughing. Like the girls, um, what, what were they? It's not, I guess the back and forth rivalry at camp. How it started with flipping over the boat. And then it, it increased to destroying their tent so they couldn't go to the dance. And then the girls cutting her dress so her behind was out. And then the fight in the yard. And after that, they were like, yay, friends. And then they decided to focus their energy on one person. Poor Vicky. <laughs> so everything they did was to get rid of Vicky. They put the, the, the lizard on the water bottle. They have her clacking sticks around, looking full. They had her drowning, not drowning, but you know, she went deep into a lake that she thought was like, oh, it was light and fun. No, 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 no. They were trying to kill her ass. And those are just, you know, Haley Mills performance as the sisters. Never mind the adults. One of my favorite adults would be the um, preacher who was to marry um, her father and Vicky. That dude was the funniest dude ever. He was just like, <laughs> watch all this go down. You just let me know when you need me to bless something. I'm here in case you need to be blessed, but other than that, I'm going to um, uh, take a gander and see what's happening with you guys. Go ahead and continue the show. So that was one of my favorite characters. So there's a lot of laughs in this. The laughs definitely gets a five. Um, and the heart for this. I, I like this. This movie is very sweet. And sometimes what you had the first time is what you needed all along. You know what I'm saying? And I like the fact that these two sisters found each other, bonded decided they wanted to be together, decided to try, they wanted to try and fix their um, parents' relationship just so they could all be together as a family. And I think that is sweet. Weird, but sweet. So the heart factor, I'm gonna give it a four. It makes me feel good all over at the end when they just decide to give, it, give their love another chance. I'm like, yes, yes. And then, you know, it's with the dream about having, you know, a dream about the sisters walking down the aisle to, to, at the beginning of the wedding as flower girls for their parents wedding it's really cute that is my five minute or less disney plus review of the parent trap the 1961 version duh get it twisted all right guys on that note thanks for hanging with me and hopefully i will catch you in the next one bye do 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 do